Hello, my little pinky pals. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are returning. My name is Alicia. My friends call me Pinky. Today, we are drawing mermaids. Woo! Was that flashy enough? I don't know. Is that a good enough intro? I worked really hard on it. Let me know. Um, <laughs> hi guys. How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. Y'all look great. I am jumping on the mermaid train. Not even jumping on. I've been a passenger. I just jump off and then back on kind of sporadically. But today I thought we really kind of got to get a mermaid video up here. And I didn't actually film myself creating this digitally. So I thought I would share with you how this main kind of this image came about as a sketch. Because I think for the most part we see the digital but you guys don't really know. I, like I draw almost everything in my sketchbook first or a sketchbook first. I've got tons of them. Well I guess they're all mine. One of my many sketchbooks then. So, you know, it's it's always kind of funny to me how they take place, how they happen, how they take flight. Is that? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to kind of show the process of drawing in the sketchbook and you guys can draw along with me and just kind of chill, have fun, chat a bit. I don't know. Other stuff. So I, essentially I was like, I just needed a mermaid because this month for my Patreon club, we are drawing mermaids. If you do want to know more about that, you're welcome to click the link in the description. But anyway, we're drawing mermaids and I wanted to draw mermaids. I know that's crazy. But I wanted to come up with some kind of idea. I wasn't really sure what. As as my month goes on, the tutorials do get a little bit more involved. And sometimes it, I don't know, sometimes it doesn't seem like, like it does. Because this month was like a really, uh, just a, a mermaid on its own. And then a mermaid with like a full background. No, like a half kind of background. But it had a lot of elements. And then this one, which is just, it was just a mermaid and a jellyfish. Actually, two jellyfish, but yeah, who's counting? But for me, I thought this one was much harder. So it's one of those things where it's like, I guess it just depends. Because maybe other people wouldn't have thought it was hard. I don't know. But anyway, this wasn't, this is like the medium one then, I guess. Or I don't know, the harder the, I don't know, I do four, four tutorials, so you tell me what scale it's on. It's on a three out of four. So I was like, I gotta come up with something like good and something, and that's how I talk to myself. I just go, and yeah, so I just was like, I'm just gonna draw some mermaids, I guess, and kind of hope for the best, and I got, I guess I got there, but it, it was kind of funny to me because out of all the mermaids I drew, I really only like the jellyfish. And so that's what ended up happening. I got the jellyfish going. So, yeah. Um, yeah. That's all I got out of there. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. And, <laughs> yeah. Any who's it. So that's kind of the way it goes. I ended up creating the jellyfish that I liked and then just kind of went with any kind of mermaid to put around it because I was like, hey, it's mermaid. We need a mermaid. And that's the way it goes. I don't know. Did you guys notice my new intro? I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but let me know if you like it. I just added new photos to it because I thought they should be updated because my style's kind of changed again. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have. I definitely want to create more characters and less, like, cutesy doodles I guess I still want to doodle but actually I have a couple of videos that are, are specifically just doodles coming up soon I just I don't know I'm really enjoying just also drawing and not shoehorning myself into like just doodles if that makes sense I don't know I draw what I like and then I just kind of hope that you guys will follow along I guess I don't know I guess I should probably do it the other way I should see what you guys want me to draw 
or just YouTube in general. I should see what everyone on YouTube is wanting me to draw and then go from there. I don't know. I just always think too though that if you just, you know, do what you love, then you'll find your people. So, you know, I feel like I'm starting to find my people. And if I have, you know, let me know below. Are you one of my peeps? Look, if you made it this far, you are. So just, just leave me a comment. For the love of God, leave me a comment. Oh, I'm being very dramatic. We were doing a lot of gardening today. I'm sorry. Which is why, I don't know if my fingers are dirty in this one. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of, they're not great. They're not great in this one. But in my defense, I've been doing a lot of gardening for the last, like, several weeks now. So, it is what it is. And by gardening, I mean most of that was, yes, buying plants, but that's still gardening. It still counts. Still landscaping or potential planning, planning. To, you know what? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I do what I want. Um, here's the, the squid. The squid? Jellyfish. The jellyfish that I started. And I just thought it was really cute. I actually think this one turns out better than my digital one. But it's hard to do these. Like... Not so much, like, the, not the, like, actual drawing of it, but the composition of it, getting the, the tentacles and the arms on, because the little wavy bits are arms, didn't know, um, but, like, getting them all kind of, you know, to look good, essentially, but then also, like, they're all kind of jammed up in there, so it's hard to see, like, when I was doing my digital, I literally, like, every single little tentacle, like, each tentacle had its own color, and each arm had its own color. So it was so hard to see. So, like, even though it seemed really easy, I thought it was a pretty hard thing to draw. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I think it was. I don't know if anybody else had issues with drawing it. I mean, that could just be the way I do tutorials, who knows. But, <clears throat> I do think that it turned out really cute. It just, I, I do find it to be hard. I don't like the composition here. I like it better in my digital. I can't even remember what it looks like now. But I loved it. <clears throat> and I thought it was kind of a cute idea to have, like, you know, the little mermaid and the little squid dancing together. I keep saying squid. It's a jellyfish. Oh, my God. I don't know. Now I'm just adding cheeks to everything because it's what I do. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll go with one of the mermaids, but I didn't like their faces, really, either one of them. So I thought, hey, why don't I draw another mermaid, but just the part I like the most, the head. Because I love drawing people's heads. That's pretty much all I want to draw. I have so many ideas. I'm to the point now where I have more ideas, I think, than time to do it in. So, like, what I mean is for the mermaids, like, I'm pretty much just taking my time doing the tutorials for my memberships because they take priority like everybody there takes priority over what I want to draw <laughs> or like just you know fun draws but I just like have so many ideas like I would love to do like an underwater tea party and have this like image of like a fancy tea party with an octopus wearing a top hat I don't know and I have this idea for, like, a little comic book I'm thinking of. I still want to finish my tarot cards. Like, I have so much. I don't know, guys. Like, do you have the same kind of thing? That's kind of why I'm thinking I'd like to start doing live streams again. Because I could just draw whatever I want to draw. So, I am doing one on Monday. It's going to be 1 o'clock. So, if you're watching this the day it comes out, or Sunday the 19th, I'll be doing a live stream Monday the 20th at like 1 o'clock. So if you want to catch me there, that would be great. I'd really love to see you there. I think we're doing a tutorial. Yay, I don't know why I offered to do that. Why do I offer to do those things? Because now I'm like sitting here going, what am I going to draw? What do I do? I need to come up with a tutorial. And I don't know what to do. Oh, here I'm thinking I'm going to have to draw coral and stuff. And in my... <laughs> In the first, like, tutorial I did, I think I even say it to everybody, I'm like, I actually realized that I don't know how to draw coral or any underwater plant outside of seaweed. And so I brought up a couple of pictures on my phone and I was using that to kind of draw coral and, yeah. And then I realized, like, I think, well, maybe I don't even realize it didn't show. Then I'm trying to draw a seashell because I also realized I don't know how to draw shells either. And I found that out during my second 
yeah, it was the second one where I found out all this. I learned a lot about myself. And I'm like, I need to learn how to draw shells. And then I gave up and was like, you know what? I'm just going to do some seaweed with some rocks. It's fine. <laughs> you know, that's fine. That's fine. I wonder, oh, I should have maybe done that. Done like some seaweed. I love a good pencil sketch though. Again, I think that sketch in the middle is probably my favorite as far as all of the mermaids go, but the the saving grace here for me was the jellyfish. I'm not going to say squid this time, but I almost did. And now for the coloring. So this is a brand new sketchbook. Actually, I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. My husband bought me a new one. Isn't that so nice? He's such a sweetheart. He bought me a new one, and so I was like, well, I guess I should text it and see how it does with markers, and I just also just really wanted to color this because I had an idea in my head of what I wanted it to look like, and it didn't happen. Here's another thing I found out about myself while doing this one. I can't do any inking anymore, like, by hand. I've lost the ability. I think I've lost the ability in general to do any kind of traditional art. I can't even imagine what my painting looks like anymore. I'm pretty much like, everything is digital now. I do almost everything I do digitally. The only time I do anything that isn't is when I'm sketching. And then I don't color or anything because I'm like, why? Nobody's going to see it but me. And I just like sketches. Like, I like pencil sketches. Like, I colored this and then I was upset because I ruined it. I will say, I love my husband. Obviously I do because I wouldn't be married to him if I didn't. But, if I have to have one critique about him, he doesn't know how to pick a sketchbook and he keeps buying them for me. Like, guys, I have one that is huge. It is huge. I can't even put it on my desk because it's too big to fit on my desk. I can't even have it on, like, my lap. It's too big to sit on my lap so I could, cut, like, draw it in any kind of capacity. I need to get, like, like a drafting table in order to put this sketchbook on. Like, that's how big it is. And it has, like, 100 pages in it. It's unreal. So I'm like, I've, like, I've still never finished it. And I think he got it for me, like, I want to say it was before the pandemic. So like eight years ago, probably, because I feel like it's been four and it's been four years since the pandemic. And I feel like the pandemic just counts as nothing now. So it's got to be like eight years. Anyway, it's been a really long time. And <clears throat> God love them. This one's no better. It doesn't handle markers well. It is really I don't know it's not the nicest paper wise it's beautiful like I love the the front of it the yin and the yin and yang is really nice but it's not a like marker sketchbook at all it's not a multimedia at all um and it's again 90 some pages <laughs> and I'm just like why do you hate me why do you why do you want me to fail at filling a sketchbook like all I want to do out of life is fill my sketchbooks and I have so many and why do you want me to fail at it <sighs> anyway that's my little rant uh if you're watching love ya obviously yes still love ya it's fine I just you know but the worst is too like he's you know, he does his, he tries his very best to get me gifts that he knows that I'll like. And out of all of them, the sketchbooks are probably it. Like, that's, you know, they're a good, it's a good idea to get it for me. Other than that, he gets me blankets, socks, and that's about it. He did buy me a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle backpack once, and that is amazing. But, like, whew, the sketchbook game is rough. Even the colors, I find the colors don't even look, I don't know, they don't even look the same compared to like my other sketchbooks that have that are four markers I have so many though I have no idea where half of them are I'm working really hard to fill them and I don't know why I wanted to do it in here because I have others that I needed to do but I just didn't want to do them I wanted to start a whole new sketchbook because I'm a dingus and yeah <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great long weekend. If you are celebrating a long weekend in Canada, it is the May 2-4 weekend. It is something about some queen. Mm, I'm not good with that kind of stuff. I'm not up on the royal family. I know we're Canadian, but I'm just not. I had to color this fish because I actually thought this fish was really flipping cute. And I didn't include him. I should have included him in my tutorial, but that's okay. I did not. He will maybe make it into another one with fish all over the place. Maybe he'll be in the tutorial for Monday's 
live stream because everybody wants a tutorial. And I feel like it's got to be mermaids at this point because it is mermaid, right? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> we are kind of winding down. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I think it's, I think it turned out really cool. I think it was fun to do something a little bit different and not just do the usual. So, you know, if you like kind of seeing my process, feel free to let me know. If you're like, girl, stop showing me this crud. All I want to see is your digital. Let me know that too. And I will probably ignore you. I'm sorry. Uh, but at the end of the day, I want to do what I like. So I may do other things, you know, I may do things that you don't like, but that's okay. You know, we can still be friends. It's fine. Nobody said that we have to like the same things a hundred times out of a hundred times. That would be a hundred percent. Yes, it would. <laughs> Very tired guys. I had a really hard day outside. I planted a lot though, which was fun. But anyway, as uh, the video is winding down and I just want to say thank you so much to my supporters, my sponsors, my coffee members, whatever you want to call yourselves, whatever you, whatever we're going to call you is, um, you guys are amazing and I love you so much. Thank you guys. Have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.